Okay, right, so um, I came up with a new type of um, trucker's hitch, sort of good for a winch. A winch. Um, you first put a um, almost lose the back so one loop um, then you do an overhand knot in the middle you have to do it like right in the middle it's best um, so there you go um, now you have two two loops in your rope see two loops in the rope they don't come loose so um, this is, um, I was thinking this would be a good, easy to carry around winch. I mean, you could use it as a winch. Um, it's just a trucker's hitch, basically. And I got a new rope, so I had to put it on my own kind of spool. So, um, you see my other video on rope spool invention. I found a stick that had a natural, um, a natural crack in it, and so I put it on that. Um, so, I wanted to test this out. Um, I want to put one end around this leg, the other end around there. Um, one of the loops acts as an anchor, the other loop acts as like a pulley. So, um, I'm going to put this around the leg like this. So I want to do a clove hitch. So, to do that, you just um, put this around and put it through here. <clears throat> Hold it tight. And and you can see that's now a clovitch. So it's attached. This one right here will be the anchor. That'll be the anchor, that'll be the pulley. Wind it. <clears throat> right here. Um, and put it through here. I'm trying to use um, two metal metal loops because I tried it around the tree and it was had way too much friction. Would not do anything. So I want to try and move this um, if I can. I want to try and move this, but it's very tiny rope, so it probably won't work. But this is just to give a general idea. Um, so, it's, right now it's doing one, one to two ratio, I think, the pulley. Once you get around here twice, once you get around here twice, it's about, um, two to four, or one to four. <clears throat> okay. So around here twice. Um, let's try and pull it, see if it works at all. These things are self-locking, so once you pull it, it's tight no matter what. No, it's stuck now. But, um, anyways, it's, it's, if you want to, um, have, like, a clothesline or... Um, if you have a really thick rope, it would probably like, work better if you're trying to like haul a car or something. Um, so the thicker it is, the better it'll work for pulling things. But if you just want a tight rope, um, this works pretty good. But all you need is two loops on the end of it, um, the rope on a spool, and there you go. You got a portable trucker's hitch.
Um, I wish this thing would work, but it's totally locked in place now. Well, you try it one more time. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Come on. That's tangled. Oh, not tangled. Lots and lots of rope. I don't even fit in there now. So tight. Come on. Go in. In. Go in. There. Okay. Now this should be eight times the power. Right now. I have the power. Not really. <laughs> Let's try to break it. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> Look at that. But it's self-locking, so look at it. It's still locked in place because it's self-locking. Because what happens is it gets snagged on the other ropes inside of there, so it's like a pressure fit. <coughs> but anyways, fun breaking some rope. <laughs> That's it.